Hello everybody, my name is Ian Boswell and today we're going to be playing a little bit of Elite Dangerous. And today I'm going to show you how I make money in the game. A lot of people will ask me, Ian, how the hell do you make money playing Elite Dangerous? How the hell do you afford new ships, new upgrades, new weapons, etc. All that good stuff that you want to enjoy the game with. Well, I'm about to show you how I do it. It might not be the best way, but it certainly works for me. And that is through trading. And a lot of people have said trading is the numero uno way to make cash fast. And maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Maybe just killing things is the best way to do it. That's what some people say. They go the uh, they go the assault route. They join a side in the Civil War, etc., etc. Everybody to each their own. I like to go the pacifistic route. I'm in a ship that only has one weapon hard point, and I don't even use it. So it's a mining laser, for crying out loud, for mining. And by the way, mining, terrible idea, don't get into it, it just, there's no money to be made. Plus your ship has no shield, you just feel pathetic the whole time, it's just a bad experience all around. Alright, so now we're approaching our planet, what I like to do is these nice little sweeping motions, as we get nice and close in there. I've been playing the game for about three days now, but I have had some previous experience with the previous Elite game, uh, and I've also uh, played Earth and Beyond for a while. I never really got into EVE, but I certainly played a hell of a lot of Earth and Beyond, and this has very, uh, this very much smacks of E and B. If you've never played E and B, you should check it out sometime. It's a fantastic game, really fun, feels like a game that was made just for me. And this is a game that also feels like it was made just for me. It's exactly what I want, which is to be a space trucker. It's like Euro Truck Simulator in space. This is my my zen. I'm having a lot of zen right now. So, okay. So we're pulling into Kings Mill Settlement here, which is a pirate-run uh, establishment. We're about to do some uh, trading in what could be considered a realm of illegality to some and will lose us some reputation with uh, the grand scheme of the, uh, you know, galactic uh, confederacy or whatever the hell they're calling themselves these days. You know, the federation, whatever. Alright, so we're going to just pull in on here into this Kingsmill settlement. And if you want the uh, name of the galaxy we are currently in, it is N'Galiba, 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 I don't know how you pronounce that, N'Galiba, that's where we're going. All right, so we are now just pulling up here. Five, four, three, two, you know, all that good stuff. As soon as we hit one, we can just hit J and we'll just come right out of warp and we will be good. Well, not warp, frame shift, whatever you want to call it. Space warping, frame shifting, same diff maybe, maybe not. All right, we just need to get within 7.5 kilometers of this place and then we can radio them and, and request a dock. All right, we're within range. All right, I've noticed there's no players parked here, so this means this place might be cleared out, and unfortunately, hope it's not. Hopefully they'll have what we're looking for. Whoops, don't want to deploy my hard points. My absolutely useless hard points. All right, don't want to give these guys the wrong impression. We're looking for docking bay 01, which I think is that one right there that we're staring right at. Gonna come in nice and hard here. That's how you park. All right, Starport Services. All right, we're looking for the commodities market, and we are looking for a very particular. There they are. We got two of them, perfect. That's exactly how many we need. We buy them for twenty-two thousand, and now let's get the hell out of here before anybody notices. Oh, we might want to, we might want to refuel just a little bit. All right, we're good, and launch it. They're gonna flip us around. We're gonna disengage the landing gear, and we're gonna get on our galactic map and target uh, a little place that's pretty close to my heart for numerous reasons. But you're about to find out why, specifically. And we are going full power to engines. Go, 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 go. And now, let's do our little navigation thing, Majig. 
go to, I believe we're looking for LTT, that one. All right, so it's about one, two, three jumps, cool. All right, so now we just have to line up our little doobly-doo, which is to the uh, left, top left of our radar, line ourselves up, and hit the J key, and go. Frameship Triumph charging, and we're gonna jump, 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 to jump, jump, jump. Now, a lot of people said, mining, that's the way to go. A lot of people said, uh, trading, that's the way to go. I agree with trading. A lot of people said, shooting things down, get 500 credits per kill. Wow, 500 credits per kill, that's, that's nice. So, you saw how fast it was that I just pulled in there, grabbed that, and skedaddled. Well, that's basically what we're gonna do here, is we're gonna just show how quickly, in the time frame, it'll take me to purchase these two items, uh, and deliver them to their designated uh, destination. Whoop, careful now, we wanna get around this sun. All right. Going to Cremaine. Checking our cargo, we're good there. Alrighty, and here we go. Boom. Okay, we're going to come out of warp pretty hot, going fast. We're going to want to get to the next destination. We don't want to run into any Federation forces that are going to scan us. We do not want to be scanned right now. If they find anything about what we're carrying, we are going to be in a lot of deep trouble. And there's some Sidewinders and Vipers right here, so I want to get the heck out of here as fast as possible. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get me. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, there's three of us, don't, I don't want any of these guys scanning me right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, power it up. Gotta get a faster, uh, faster spin up <laughs> uh, one of these days. I think I'm gonna actually, this, this, this trip alone is enough to get me a A-class engine. They're gonna pay me enough to get an A-class engine, so that's awesome. All right, so once we arrive at our next destination, all we have to do is lock on to the best place in all of Elite Dangerous. All right, we're gonna pull down, and you'll soon see why I call it the best place in all of Elite Dangerous. All right, there it is, Boswell Platform. Platform named after me, Boswell Platform. Go, 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 go. And we just have to then get over there and hopefully won't get interdicted or scanned by anybody on our way en route. And once we're there, it's all smooth sailing. So we just need to go in a straight line as fast as possible with all of our power to our everything. So I'll go ahead and go over a few things that I've got equipped on my ship. I have a shield generator. I have a um, fuel scoop in case I need to scoop fuel. And I, you know, nobody likes getting stranded in space and having to self-destruct. That absolutely sucks. Nobody wants to have to have that happen to them. Um, I've got uh, two eight uh, cargo bays, so 16 cargo in total. I could go 20. I could replace the fuel scoop for some additional cargo. Um, uh, I have a single hard point, which is just a mining laser, and I can equip a refinery and refine and you know scoop up like uh, uh, you know uh, metals and stuff in space and sell those. That wasn't as profitable as I thought it was. This, however, is very profitable. This this entire line of what we're doing right now is what quite profitable. Profitable. Blah, blah, blah. I've been staying up way too long for way too many hours, enjoying this on weekdays, weeknights, weekends, etc., and all throughout the holidays. I've only been playing for about four days now, and I've already purchased my third ship and I'm looking to uh, go ahead and, and, and get into my fourth one, which is probably going to be a Cobra, though I'm not too excited about upgrading to the Cobra because I really like the freighter. I really do. The visibility in the cockpit kind of sucks, though. I mean, they've got a little bit of visibility there and there out of these, like, semi-side windows, but I don't know. I definitely would like to get a bit of an upgrade. So, okay. I'm also going to have to get these, these actual flight sticks that exist in real life from Mad Cats. Okay, and, well, they don't have the little glowy hand bits and stuff there. That's all sci-fi made up, but the, the throttle and the, the joystick, that actually exists in real life, and they have lots of side buttons for 
Uh, I would definitely like buttons for thrusting temporarily without actually pushing up on the throttle, uh, because that is handy, especially when you're landing or, or trying to do some maneuvering. From what I, I, I used to manually hold down forward for everything. I'm actually doing that right now. I don't have it technically enabled, but I, I used to do that for everything, and it was uh, very enjoyable. I, I enjoyed playing like that, but it was a bit taxing on my finger to just have to have it held down all the time. I'm getting away with it right now. I'm still holding it down. All right, so let's see. Uh, but see, like, when you're in a menu like this, it gets hard. Yes, yeah, so we're going to Boswell Platform. Really close. And now we're just going to come in on this nice little sweeping motion here. Boswell Platform is located near two resource extraction sites, by the way. So if you do want to get into space mining, it's the place to go. Uh, they don't have many uh, resource like manufacturing stuff there to my knowledge. I, I don't remember exactly what they had for sale actually. Alright, now it's asking me to slow down but I don't really have to worry about slowing down too much because I'm in the blue zone and we're going to stay in that blue zone all the way there. Alright, and now we're just getting down to those low numbers, those nice low numbers we want to see. Coming in nice and hot and fast. Okay. And slow down some more. Again, you don't want to go straight on at it or you're just going to overshoot it if you're going too fast. But we're definitely wanting to try to avoid getting interdicted. If you've never been interdicted, I'll bring up an example of what that looks like for you in another video sometime. Uh, maybe there's a, a link and the annotations right there for it or not, I'm not sure. But okay, so we're slowing down now, we're getting to the kilometer measurements, this is where the stuff gets all crazy crazy and most pilots have a bad time. By the time you hit kilometer measurements, you need, and you're out of light second measurements, you need to be at least at four. Ideally you want to be at three, but notice how we're, we're orbiting in towards the location, we're not just flying straight into it. That's actually helping us to bleed some, some speed. All right, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Getting into that 4, getting into that 3, getting into that 2. Now we're almost in the 1, and then we just have to reach below 1, and then we can stop. All right, safe to disengage. And now we just need to reach the possible platform and hope that the security does not scan us and let them know that we're here to deliver some goods. Once we get within 7.5 meters, I want to get a permission from them to dock. No go backsies, you guys. No go backsies, Boswell Platform. All right, here we go. Got to contact them fast. Come on, menu. Come on up. There we go. No! Don't deny. No, don't deny. That's the last thing I need. Ah, they're crowded. They're crowded right now. They're busy. That means that, that their ships could likely try to scan me, and I'm trying to smuggle things, and I don't need that right now. Okay, so come on. Come on. Ah, this was supposed to be simple. There's another player here named Blue Baron. He's probably taking up a slot. Curse you, Blue Baron! I definitely want to stay outside of their scanner range, and I don't want to be scanned. But at the same time, I really want to park there! Oh, frustration! Frustration, frustration, frustration! Alright, so we're going to just skirt this edge here and stay at that 7.5 kilometer range so we can just keep spamming them with requests to park. We're gonna get it eventually, I swear we will. We're just waiting for one of their ports to open up, kick an NPC out of there, or have a player leave. I'm 
like I see it pop up. I see the dock pop up and then vanish. Oh, what? Now I'm out of range. Yeah, a little closer there. Alright, we're skirting right here on the edge here. We will get this. I swear we will get this. I'm sorry about the starport being a lot more crowded than I expected it to be. It's, it's Boswell Platform. How was I to know there'd be a frickin' orca here? Hey, buddy. How long you plan to be parked there for? I'd really like a space. Get it? Space? Because we're in space and I need a parking space. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so now we're going in there. And hope to God they don't scan us. Those bastards had better not scan us. After all that we've been through with this patient waiting. Alright, security guys on the other side there are... Yeah, that is security. He's directly below us, actually. Alright, we're going to come up over the top here, and hopefully that's where our space will be to park at. I'm literally guessing at this point. That looks like a place to land. We are at do it once, so there's one. Hello! Careful now. Alright. I pressed L. There it goes. Alright, and then we just park. Ah, throttle's being weird. Okay. Good enough. Okay. So we've smuggled the cargo. Way to go, guys. Way to go. Ugh. Give it over. That's 44,000 frickin' yeah. Okay. And now they need food cartridges. I'll take missions here later. I need to go to bed. But yeah. That's a, that's a quick rundown. Some things to look at. Some things to think about for making quick, quick, crazy monies to outfit your ship with awesome stuff. And, um, yeah, that's, that's about the rundown. And I'll be posting more Elite Dangerous videos in the coming days. Be sure to stay tuned and keep it locked at Boswell Platform, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Thanks for watching. My name is Ian Boswell. Have a fantastical day!